well. It's November 13th. I'm sitting in this blind right here. Uh, just got permission to this piece of property uh, this week. And about three days ago, I come and set this blind up and put a trail camera down the trail here. And I got pictures of a lot of does and one really nice buck. So, hopefully, all of them will come in. <laughs> but, I'm hoping that buck will show up. I had some daytime pictures of, of that buck. I had some doe pictures too. Right in, it's, it's like an old, right in the abandoned farm site here kind of a cool spot right here. There's this old barn right here in front of me. Kind of looks like it might fall down, but it's just a neat looking spot right here. Hopefully a deer will come right out in this little opening for me and give me a shot. my first buck with a bow. He stopped right there in the middle of this little opening in front of me. Was just looking around and all of a sudden he looked at me. And I was at full draw. He was quartering too. Way too much to shoot. I didn't want to shoot him quartering too like that. So finally, whenever he turned, couldn't take it anymore. I let it go. And I think, I think I made a good shot. <laughs> that was awesome. This is my first time hunting this new spot here, too. It's only about five acres or so. It's an old abandoned farm site. I'm sitting right here next to this old barn. Looks like it's about to fall down. And I set this blind just a couple days ago. Looks like it worked out. <laughs> I'm going to go check for blood there. All right, well, I uh, went and got some breakfast with Jasper, and uh, he came out here. He's going to help me track this deer, so we're going to go get on the trail and see if we can't find him. We'll watch the footage, and the shot was a little far back, but we think it's, it's going to be all right. Uh, it definitely wasn't any farther than the liver, I don't think, but we're going to go check this trail out, see if we can find him. Jump the fence right here. I just, uh, uh, couldn't really find any blood at all. I found two little specks. And that's where I put my glove before I left this morning. I only followed the trail. He ran, oh, probably 15 yards and then I stopped just because I didn't want to push him or anything. But he jumped the fence right here. We could see where he kicked up the leaves running through here. So we'll follow around here. There's not really any blood, so I'm just kinda, just kinda gotta think like a deer, I guess. But we'll follow this trail right here. I'm thinking he probably took the easiest path and it's slightly downhill right here. So we'll just start following and might have to spread out in a minute. I don't know. But we'll go this way. Trail splits right here. Not 
that way or that way? Just find this bottom? Yeah. I'm gonna work out. I see him. <laughs> Three. It's November 13th and this is my first buck with a bow right here. We'll drag him out and uh, <coughs> so you can get a better look at him. Well here he is, my first buck with a bow. It's November 13th and I got up early this morning, got out here about 5.30, setting this blind I put out about three days ago and I think I have some trail camera pictures of him from this week, I'm not sure. I'll check the camera, it's over this way a little bit, but I'll check that in a little bit and see. I had that uh, big 10 point come in and he didn't give me a shot. He was just in the brush a little too far. But he went off with some does and this one came in about 20 minutes later. He came right out in my little opening and I shot him right there at 14 yards. Buzz cut went right through him. But he probably went about 80 yards after I shot him. I went and got breakfast and come back with Jasper. He helped me track him and uh, drag him out here. So. I want to thank Jasper and his family for letting me come out here and hopefully I can come back and shoot a doe and maybe that big buck so it was a great hunt. <laughs> 